Okay folks, this is a, just an update on my Soviet armour that I posted the other day that I built. This is where I've got to on the painting of it. I've got everything decaled, modulated, well, which basically modulation is sort of shaded and sort of all stood together, ready to go. And then I've hit them with a winter camo scheme. I mean, they're looking too bad. I've got to pin wash them yet and stuff. And as you said, you see these have still got to be winter camo washed. That one has been washed up. Still got to do the tracks and things like that. Now, the choice that I ended up using an enamel thinner from Humbrol over the Vallejo one because I'm more comfortable with thinning enamel stuff than I am some of these acrylic products. Still kind of a bit old school, I think. Um, you know, East Ham with a bit, of, a bit of thinners, do you know what I mean? It, it rubs shit off. And if you've got the acrylic sealed underneath, it's pretty good because I was gloss varnished first. But that's um, what they're all going to look like. The entire tank army will be like that colour when it's built. Probably about 20 vehicles. So it's going to look quite cool. Anyway, I'll just keep posting it as I go. Usual shit. Um, um, these are the Rubicon kits I said the other day, and they're pretty nice. I think they build up pretty nice, so I'm quite pleased with them. Which I'll get some more. Right, I'll catch you later, folks. We'll quick peek at the infantry as well. I'll get all those built up soon. Got absolutely tons of the wall or plastic to build up. Well, I think it's going to be good to have an absolute red horde. But anyway, that's. BA painting bench update so far. Take care.